any raccoon wanting to attack it has got to swim. It can't leap from a hard surface to a hard surface. There's no tree overhanging that it can come down and drop into it. It's pretty much a fortress here in the middle of the water. Now one of the important things is to fill the tire up get the dirt back in inside of the tire because if you don't do that then the tire will collapse and your whole tower will collapse we're going to stake it in there we don't need to get anything real fancy stake will work But we want to at least anchor it two tires down to keep it from moving. All right, this is the last layer. And we're just gonna, again, I think our water is gonna be about this high, so it's three up. That's gonna be considerable task for a raccoon to come up there and attack a, a, a goose without the goose having the upper hand. I'm going to fill that up. And again, the important thing is to get this dirt packed back into the tire itself so that it stabilizes this. And what she won't, will do then is just make a nest down into the inside of the tire. We'll make an indentation big enough to, to suit her needs. So here we go. We hollowed it out so that the mother goose, when she sits down in there, should be pretty much invisible, except for her head where she can look 360 degrees for predators coming her way, and her eggs will be down warm, and the black tire should continue to keep the nest warm even in her absence, so we'll see how that works.